Today we have this 2024, this is a Toyota Camry. The shop replaced the uh, headlight on this side. In order to do that, they removed the front bumper. After that, when we start the car up, we get this message for the pre-collision system malfunction. And we have this little warning light right there. Let me move the tachometer a little bit right there. Now today I'm gonna show you guys how to do this using my brand new Zenith Z7 scan tool. I'll show you why I chose this scan tool in just a minute. But first of all, let's go into diagnosis. We're gonna auto detect the VIN. Toyota Camry, select. We're gonna do a system search. Now it's scanning through all the modules in the car. And right here, you can see that we do have a code in the radar cruise. Let's click show DTC. Here's the code stored in our front radar system, C1A1100, front radar sensor, optical access misalignment. This is the code that we're gonna try to remedy by doing this calibration. Now, in order to properly calibrate the front radar sensor, we need to start by finding the exact center line of the vehicle. We can do this by dropping a plumb bob down the front of the logo. So if you look at the logo, that's where our radar sensor is located. So we gotta go directly in the center of the emblem. And if we follow the line down to the floor, you can see I put a piece of tape and marked exactly where that plumb bob is landing. Now we need to do the same thing on the back of the car. Okay, so I went ahead and I dropped the plumb bob on the back side of the car. Again, you can see that we're going straight down the Toyota logo. And I went ahead and marked it with a piece of tape and permanent marker. Now what I'm using to draw up our center line is gonna be this self-leveling laser. What I did was I made sure to line up the laser exactly with the center point of the car so that the laser runs through not only our front marker, but our rear marker as well. I know it's a little faint, but if you guys look, you can see the laser passing right through the center. So now that we have our center line established, we can go ahead and set the distance for the target. This is the target that we're gonna be using. Now, according to the service data, they want you to line up the height of this triangle to the center point of this radar sensor. Now we're gonna measure 3000 millimeters between the point there and the front of our target. Okay, so we have our distance measured between the front of the vehicle and the front of the target. And if you take a look here, you can see that the laser runs right down the center of our target. Now, one of the things I forgot to mention is that if you are gonna be doing one of these radar sensor calibrations, always make sure that the surface that you're on is level. Also, I'm gonna be closing that bay door back there. We don't want that light to be reflecting off of the target. Now I'm gonna show you guys why I decided to use my brand new Zenith Z7. Other than the fact that it has a really cool hand grip on the backside, this tool, unlike many other tools on the market, does not require an additional purchase to do ADOS calibrations. ADOS capabilities come standard with the tool. So we're gonna start by clicking service and we're gonna select ADOS. Here we're gonna choose our vehicle. We're gonna select body. Then we're gonna choose front radar sensor. Then we're gonna choose front beam axis adjustment. It's asking us what target we're using. We're using the triangle. So choose F1, make sure everything's set up properly, then hit okay. It's doing the calibration. And just like that, the front beam axis adjustment is complete. Let's back out and go to DTC analysis, erase the code. Trouble code has been erased, our DTC is now gone. Okay, so now that our calibration is done, you can see that we no longer have the collision light over here, and we no longer have any messages popping up on this little display. So that's how you do a quick ADOS adjustment using the brand new Zenith Z7 scan tool. If you guys are interested, I will leave a link in the description. Definitely a tool worth checking out, especially if you work on imports.